Hey everybody, today I'm shooting my Kiapa 17HMR pistol or revolver. This is a 17HMR. These are CCI VMAX. There's, they say they go 2550 feet per second. Of course, that's out of a rifle. This revolver has a seven and a half inch barrel. We've got a target set up at 30 yards. I'm gonna aim at the bullseye, shoot it 10 times, and then we'll go take a look at it. All right, let's go take a look, let's see how we did. I don't know, I really like this revolver. I haven't shot it for a while and I thought I'd give it a go. We'll see how accurate it is at 30 yards. All right, this is my target. A little bit all over the place, but not not terrible for 30 yards. Most of that's probably me. I've shot at targets a little closer uh, where I had a rest to rest the gun on and it's it's more accurate than that. Um, so most of this is me. You know, I was I was trying to aim here and I've, I've got, most of them are right here. There's so oh, four or five in here, but yeah, they're kind of all over the place here, but did the best I could with what I had to work with and it's a fun fun uh, revolver and seems to work fine it was really cheap so I, I recommend it just cuz you know it's cheap and it's fun and you know it shoots a 17 and not many revolvers do that it didn't uh, do it noticeably that time um, but I will say one complaint I kind of have with it and it's inherent to shooting a, a neck down cartridge in a revolver is that it, the cylinder can get a little bit tight on the last round or two you know it has a 10 round cylinder some sometimes on the eight or well nine or tenth round it'll get a little bit harder to cock the hammer just because it's um, you yeah, know the cases swell a little bit and it gets a little stiff it didn't do it that time and I think it's getting broke in enough where it's not gonna do that much anymore but that's just kind of a complaint um, people have with a you know a neck down cartridge the 17 HMR cartridge is a 22 Magnum neck down to 17 caliber and they don't typically chamber necked cartridges in revolvers for that reason um, but really I mean that's the only complaint I have and it, like I said it did it the first few times I thought it might do it again but it hasn't done it to me for a while so I think the guns getting broken and you know shouldn't be a worry but if you buy one that's something to consider you know a 22 Magnum would be a little more traditional it might give you a little less grief but it's not gonna be as fast I need to get this pistol chronographed and I will before too long. One of these days I'm gonna chronograph it and see what the velocity loss is you know out of that seven and a half inch barrel versus out of a rifle barrel like a you know, 20 inch rifle barrel so take it easy.